In physics class, data is often collected and plotted in an effort to understand the relationship between the two quantities under study. The analysis often involves a slope calculation. But what is meant by slope? And how do you calculate the slope? Well, I'm Mr. H, and I have some answers for you. Slope refers to the steepness of a line on a graph. It is the rise divided by the run. The rise is the change in the y-coordinate value between any two points on the line. This is delta y. The run is the change in the x-coordinate value between those same two points. This is delta x. Slope is calculated as delta y divided by delta x. Let me demonstrate a simple five-step process for calculating the slope. The first step involves identifying the coordinates of two points on the line. Pick points that are on the line whose coordinates are clearly known. Avoid estimation. I'm going to pick these two points. They're on the line, and I know their coordinates without estimating. Second, write the coordinates down in x, y format. x refers to the horizontal axis value. y refers to the vertical axis value. This point has x1, y1 coordinates of 0.0 seconds and 4.0 meters. That point has x2, y2 coordinate values of 6.0 seconds and 22.0 meters. Third, calculate the rise, or the change in y coordinate values. That's y2 minus y1. That's 22 meters minus 4.0 meters. Delta y is equal to 18.0 meters. Fourth, calculate the run, or the change in the x coordinate value. That would be x2 minus x1 or 6.0 seconds minus 0.0 seconds. Delta x is 6.0 seconds. Now calculate the slope by dividing delta y by delta x. Show your work, show your answer, show your unit, and show your grade. 18.0 meters divided by 6.0 seconds is 3.0 meters per second. The unit will always be the y coordinate unit divided by the x coordinate unit. I have two warnings for you, two things to be careful about. And the first has to do with graphs like this that pass through the origin. Pick the origin as one of your points. That is, x1, y1 equals 0 seconds, 0 meters. This simplifies the math, because when you calculate the rise, it just becomes y2 value. And when you calculate the run, or delta x, it just becomes the x2 value. And the slope is y2 divided by x2. That was simple. But do be careful, because just because this y2 divided by x2 trick works for this graph, doesn't mean it works for every graph. What always works is slope equal change in y divided by change in x. Now the second warning has to do with downward sloping lines like this. When you do your math correctly, you end up with a negative slope value. Downward sloping lines will always have negative slope values. So if your work yields a positive value, something's wrong. Go back and check your work and fix it. You do show your work, don't you? In the description section of this video, you will find some links to some pretty awesome interactive exercises on our website. They'll allow you to take this lesson in the five-step process and put it to practice. It's a great way to ensure that you got this. Hey, I'm Mr. H. Thanks for watching.